Terrasilizing flipped the entire conversation of what the strongest offensive Pokemon type is on its head. Almost any Pokemon can become any singular type, meaning that Stab can be anywhere from the normal 1.5 damage to the coveted 2 times damage before any resistances and weaknesses are factored in. It also throws out the old playbook of looking at the base attack and base special attack for specific types, since now any Pokemon can become that type, which means we have to approach the overall best offensive Terra type argument with both a general and specific set of rules. But how can something be both general and specific? It can't. But it is. It's paradoxical. And yet, it works. There is a lot of thought that needs to go into ranking what the best offensive terror types are. You have to look at how many of the 18 types can the type hit into for super effective damage, but with terrestrialization, you cannot just look at the number of Pokemon of those types, since again, any Pokemon can tear it into any type. So you have to be a bit more general. But you cannot just look at one piece of data, you have to expand into other avenues, such as how many moves are there of that type, what is the average base power of those moves, and how many Pokemon can learn each of those moves. For for example, you cannot say that one type is the most powerful because they have a move that is a base 150 power. What if that move can only be learned by one Pokemon, and what if that is the only attacking move of that type? On the other side of the spectrum, just because a move of a certain type can be learned by every Pokemon doesn't mean that it is the best offensive type. Maybe the move is 10 base power and of a type that is not super effective into any other type. And with the gimmick of terrestrialization, the impact of how many types it is super effective against is even greater. Let me know what your criteria criteria is for the strongest offensive type in the comments below, and let me get started on the ranking. Number 18 is the normal type. This should be no surprise as normal is not super effective against any other types and is resisted by 3. Even though normal has a total of 57 attacking moves in generation 9, with an average of 107 Pokemon able to learn each of them, offensive types are molded by the 2 times damage from being super effective, which the average base power of 76 is just too low to have a rank any higher than the bottom. Number 17 is the dragon type. Now this may come as a shock since dragons have always been known as one of the most powerful offensive types in Pokemon. Problem is, I'm not factoring in base stats since, as previously stated, any Pokemon can tear it into any type. With only being super effective against itself and being restricted by Steel and Fairy, Dragon is very low on the totem pole for best offensive type. It has a middle of the road average base power and a less than great average number of Pokemon that can learn each move. Number 16 is the bug type. Some people might crucify me for putting bug types above dragon types in a conversation about offense, and while it is true that they are my favorite type, that is not biasing my decision. While bug types have the lowest average base power of moves out of all types, they are able to hit for super effective damage into three types and have an average of 49 Pokemon can learn each bug type move. But being resisted by seven types and having only 17 unique moves, bug solidifies its spot as 16th. Number 15 is the poison type. Even though it is super effective against two types and has an average power of 69, hold the jokes until the end please, poison is resisted by five types and is limited by the number of Pokemon that can learn each move with an abysmal average of 39. But not being resisted by as many Pokemon as Bug, with only five types resisting poison attacks, poison is able to sneak ahead by just a hair. Number 14 is the ghost type. Only being super effective against two types, it is stacked against psychic, dark, and electric. And while ghosts are only resisted by two types, the low counts of 16 unique ghost attacks that on average are learned by 45 Pokemon, coupled with a base power of 71, ghost is unable to make much of a splash to any higher rank. Number 13 is the Electric type. While it is resisted by 4 types, there are 29 unique electric moves that are learned by an average of 40 Pokemon each, which when you couple with an 84 base power per attack on average, Electric type solidifies itself in this position. Unfortunately, the very reason why it is able to rank above Ghost and Poison is the same as to why it ranks below Psychic and Dark, since being resisted by 4 types is quite a lot. Number 12 is the Psychic type. This may be controversial, since some could argue that Dark should be 12th, but I hold my ground and say Psychic is. On average, only 41 Pokemon can learn each Psychic move within Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and while the average base power is higher than Dark, they have close to the same amount of unique attacking moves. In this case, the more Pokemon that can learn the move is better, which is why number 11 is the Dark type. Super effective and resisted by the same number of types as Psychic, Dark moves are able to be learned on average by 71 Pokemon, which with a base power of 72 is a wider variety of Pokemon that can hit with the 2 times super effective attacks. And with 20 
24 unique moves compared to Psychic's 28, that is not enough of a difference to make me want to swap their positions. Number 10 is the Grass type. Grass is only super effective into 3 types while being resisted by 7 types, same as Bug, but what Grass lacks in the type matchup department more than makes up for in all others. Grass has 34 different attacking moves that on average 53 Pokemon are able to learn, which is a much higher combination than all previous types. Grass also has a surprisingly high average base power of 82, which is the 5th highest base power among types. Number 9 is the Steel type, which might surprise some as to how high it is ranked. Steel only has 16 unique attacks, with an average of 31 Pokemon able to learn each one, which is the lowest combination of the two amongst all typings. But Steel is super effective against 3 different types and only resisted by 4, and has the highest average base power among all of the types at a whopping 95, which means that it's able to hit like a truck no matter what. Number 8 is the Fairy type. While it does have the lowest total count of unique attacking moves within Generation 9, Fairy's average base power is 81 and has an average of 44 Pokemon that can learn each individual move. Couple the 81 base power with hitting 3 different types for super effective, and it is able to dish out quite a bit of damage. Fairy is really only restricted by the 3 types that resist it. Number 7 is the Water type. Sharing the same amount of strength and weaknesses as Flying, Water is held back by its lower average base power of 77 and the lower average amount of Pokemon that can learn each of its moves, which is 46. There are a total of 33 unique water type attacks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is the third highest, only trailing behind grass and normal type. Number 6 is the flying type. Unfortunately, flying types only have 19 unique moves, but everything else about the type is aggressively fantastic. On average, 53 Pokemon can learn each unique flying attack, and with an average base power of 81, quite a few Pokemon are able to take advantage of the three types that flying is super effective against to dish out some big damage. Just watch out for Steel, Electric, and Rock types and you'll be fine. Number 5 is the Ice type. Beginning the top 5, Ice is super effective against Grass, Flying, Dragon, and Ground while only being resisted by Fire, Water, Ice, and Steel. It does have a massive average of 55 Pokemon that can learn each of the 21 unique Ice type moves, and when that is coupled with an average of 76 base power, Ice makes quite the impression as a top 5 best offensive type. Number 4 is the Fire type. Just missing out on top 3, Fire types have the second highest average base base power at 91, but with only 40 Pokemon able to learn each of the 32 individual fire type attacks, fire is pretty limited compared to the top 3. Number 3 is the rock type. Super effective against flying, ice, bug, and fire, with an average of 70 Pokemon able to learn each of the 17 unique rock type attacks, rock solidifies itself in the third spot to a formidable 76 average base power while only being resisted by a mere 3 types. Number 2 is the fighting type. While it does have a lower average of Pokemon, Pokemon that can learn each move, sitting at 51, fighting more than makes up for that with being super effective against 5 different Pokemon types to multiply the average 81 base power attacks by 2. Fighting is only held back by the 6 types that resist it, Bug, Poison, Psychic, Fairy, Flying, and Ghost. Number 1 is the Ground type. This may come as a surprise to some, but the numbers don't lie. With the highest average of Pokemon that can learn each of the individual attacks, sitting at a massive 116, Ground moves have an average base power of 75 that can be doubled by the 5 different types it hits super effective into. Ground is only resisted by 3 types, making it have the highest ratio of super effective type matchups versus resisted type matchups. How much do you agree or disagree with my opinions? Feel free to debate me in the comments below, I would love to hear your takes, and while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe, I appreciate it.